Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Doc, and today I have a very exciting video for you guys, it's one of my favorite builds ever, and I have to say that even though it's very simple, um, it really covers today's agenda, which is to start up Monday right, and one of the things I really focused on today was the fact that I wanted this to be a very natural and also realistic cheetah exhibit. The reason for that is I see many times, um, you know, in Planet Zoo builds that cheetahs don't exactly get a long habitat. That is actually um, a requirement in some zoo associations and care standards, I think, because they need space to run and they need a lot of open space. Um, usually in any zoo I make, I always give my cheetahs more space than I do to lions. I have begun Africa. Now, this wasn't originally going to be the first video of this series and in these series we're just going to be building africa also did you guys notice it's already 11th of april tomorrow is gonna be super exciting i doubt i'm going to just you know publish the zebra video tomorrow because the beginning of the africa you know section of this entire zoo in pineland zoo the first habitat we built on camera is the multi-species zebra sable antelope ostrich whatever like i could add more animals to it it's big enough habitat now that video is already ready to go only thing is i wanted to give you guys a special video today like the cheetah habitat because it's very very um well detailed and there's a part of it that i really can't wait you to see because i really would love feedback on it i mean i've seen something in real life let's just say and i tried to replicate it here I'm just making the viewing gallery and the guests can still see in, like it's not that high and it looks very natural and nice. Now, as I said on the agenda today is a few things, it's not just Africa, but also making a realistic cheetah habitat. Now that's the reason why this kind of has a wobbly shape if you first look at it, but it's really just a de deformed, deformed, yeah, deformed rectangle because I wanted them to be able to run around. And it's so nice to see them run in the game, actually, that, you know, it's a special homage to them. And here I'm just making a little corridor using these East Asia pieces, I believe. They work perfectly with the African pieces. If you're building an African um, themed, you know, section or habitat, I always would tell you, you know, as a word of advice, from someone who loves building with these pieces is to mix them around. You don't have to just stick to one theme pieces. You can mix different themes and still have the same theme. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> I was originally going to make a shelter there, but then I thought, nah, I wouldn't want to live somewhere where I see, pe I hear people above me all the time. So why should cheetahs? Here I'm making their shelter instead, which is pretty modern. It is similar and on theme to the rest of the habitat shelters in Pineland Zoo's Africa section. And you'll see why in the ne next time I publish another Africa video. Obviously, tomorrow is the big release, you guys. That's why I do not think I'm going to be publishing another video like this, unless I do like two uploads. But I think tomorrow will be all about a let's play and a first look at the new wetland animals pack and i'm super super excited about that that's why i would just tell you that you know expect some more platypus maybe not because we already done that we're going to be placing the platypus into its habitat that we built for it but for now definitely expect like um what do you what do, what do we call it the two animals we are getting and i completely forgot oh yes the asian water buffalo and the red um the red-headed crane? Red-headed crane? I can't really remember the name at the moment, but the Japanese crane, basically. We're going to be building some really nice habitats for them in Pineland Zoo, but I will be doing that once the release is out. Here, I'm just figuring out kind of like just rock pieces. I'm not going to be putting a lot of foliage in this cheetah habitat. Reason for that is they don't really like too much foliage anyway. Not in real life not in the game so i'm just trying to get away with as little piece as possible where i just copied from is also a very special build <laughs> like all these places i'm copying from because i just made this habitat so a lot 
of the zoo is complete. Um, and those videos are not released yet. They will be. I just wanted to give you a nice video today to start off Monday, right? Especially because I've lost the entire footage of me building the lion enclosure and exhibit. That has been super upsetting to me. Here, I'm just making a little trail of like what areas they'll be using the most. By the way, one tip. If you place the enrichment items in good spots, you can actually get away with this. The animals will mostly walk on those little soil trails or sand trails you make and not go on the grass too much. If you place the enrichment items and food items strategically, which is always what I do. Anyway, one thing that happened when I was editing the line video, which the line habitat is one of my, I think it, it is to this day, my favorite line habitat I've ever built. Right. And <laughs> I love it. But the thing is, I have lost the footage. I was editing it and then I forgot to save the edit, but I had already um, deleted the backup file of the entire footage, thinking that I was, you know, almost done editing anyway, because the with Da Vinci, when you're editing something, even if you delete the back folder, not folder, what do you call it? Even if you delete the original file, um, I mean, put it into the trash bin, you're still going to be edit, able to edit that video in the same day, right? So it's not going to be a problem. But if you forget to save that file that you edited and then you empty the trash, the entire game file goes, not the game file, video file goes corrupt. So there's only half of the line uh, habitat for a speed build slash build video, which is in this, when I'm building the zebra habitat, basically I terraform the space for the lions and I do a little bit of foliage and a little bit of, you know, building, but we're gonna make that up hopefully with this cheetah uh, exhibit. Now, what you're seeing here is exactly what you think it is if you can make it out. If you can't make it out, I'll tell you. <laughs> it is one of those, um, cable speed track things where the keepers will go up on a roof they'll put a food item and that food item will just be thrown over and on like a little what do you call it levy no on like a little um spinny thing it works kind of like a cable cable not cable swing what do you call those the thing people get on and then they like like a telephidic i can't remember the name at the moment in english but it's a cheetah cable, let's just call it that. It's a cheetah cable where the idea is, you know, the keepers will go up from those stairs, will put food on there, and then they will start the cable and the cheetah will run after it. That's what I did here. And here I'm just making sure that it's actually, you know, not just one way, because if it's just one way, it's not gonna make sense, it's two ways, because it turns around and then from the other station, that I will be building in a second. Here I'm trying to figure out this little prey sack because it could work very well, but it didn't work at the end. I removed it because it was glitching like crazy. Here yeah. I'm building the next section and this part took the longest. Actually, the habitat itself didn't take that long to build, but this little thing, this, this metal rectangular cable thing, took a very long time to do. I think it was about, what, 52 minutes that I spent on this uh, build. Not the entire build, just the build of the cable was 52 minutes, but it was worth it. I think it looks pretty nice. It doesn't really obstruct the habitat view by any means. I mean, this side that you're looking through, looking at from, looking at from, yeah, looking from is not going to be in, not going to be a path that people will look through. Here, that, those modular stairs, I got them from the workshop. Now, there are a few items, as you know, with Pinelands Zoo, we're building a few things just with the workshop. Um, you know, like tiny things we use the workshop for. Rest of everything in the entire zoo is original. But things like modular stairs, I'm not going to make a tiny, tiny piece stairs like that myself. It will just take way too long. And to be honest, Sometimes I don't have the patience. Here I customized the entire base because I wanted it to more like a grill kind of thing and built some of the stairs. So now I'm just making the, you know, those just grill floors, I guess, 
for the keepers. So when the food comes to this side, they can just take it or like, well, they can take the rope and then they can go down and take it all the way around and start the whole thing or just start it there. That's the idea. Here I'm building some of the stairs myself as I'm not that lazy, <laughs> but a bit lazy. So I'm just trying to cover like the fence that I made another trail for the keepers. They're not going to be really using this, but for realism's sake, I think it just makes sense to put that. Now, this build is about to be over, but I'm not going to let you go just yet because the cinematics are not until a bit later so that I can show you some cool, you know, overview of the habitats. One of my uh, friends in the community suggested that once I'm done, instead of just making cinematics of the animals, I could also maybe make like an overview of the finished product of what it looks like. And that is the path. So there's two viewing areas for the guests. One is the little hut, the elevated hut, and the other one is the path. And here I'm just putting some more enrichment items. Again, I place them strategically. I'm going to also put the water all the way to the left of the exhibit so that the cheetahs will be, you know, walking back and forth the whole time. That's what I like to do but there are many ways to do it. I can sometimes also make a tutorial on how to strategically place things in your habitat so that the animals use the entire thing. Um, here, just some bush. Again, not heavily putting any foliage, but I'm putting some. That's a custom tree I made with the bushes again and the African tree pieces from construction. Now here's a finished view of the entire habitat. Let me know what you think of the cheetah cable because I, I personally like it, but if you have feedback, I'm really open to it. Now I'm going to just let you enjoy the cinematics and see you tomorrow when the release happens. Bye for now.